So the next step is to extract uh, and create the slices. So now we have a nice voice analysis. Uh -huh. uh, it has 55 partials, that's fine. Uh, it lasts for 135 milliseconds, so a little more than one, one second, which is uh, fully fine. So as I said, two to four is, is the best. Less is obviously okay. Uh, so we are going to cut this analysis in 512 slices. So w w when you want to do it, you have the slice size here, it's just as an information. So it's a two millisecond long slice. Uh, that that we will we'll get so we will get 512 uh, of them of course uh, the extraction is quite simple just press that extract channelized partials and yeah here here you go so what you see here is a graph showing the partials so you see the evolution the aha uh -huh. so, so the two the, the the two notes you can clearly see them some kind of instability in the transition area so uh, the the low frequencies are here the high frequencies are on, on, on the lower part and uh, it can be either green so the greener the uh, highest level you get for each partial and when you go get some red that means that there is some noise inside so as you can see in the higher partials there is a bit of additional noise uh, added that is due to the channelization me mechanism mainly but also to that's coming from the analysis so we now have this and we can play the result here by just clicking by the play forward uh -huh. so that's what we get when we say the aha uh -huh. Uh, it's exactly what's going to be sent to the continuum to the again matrix. So you can play it uh -huh. forward, you can play it uh -huh. backward, you have a control uh -huh. in the index, you can stop at any point. Uh -huh. so it, it, it's sometimes quite strange because if you stop in a consonant, uh, then, then, then there is no real note inside, and you have that kind of artifact. But when you play them at the proper speed, that's going to be okay. Uh -huh. And the uh -huh. that's that's how is sounding. Uh -huh. And so you can pitch it up, so two times, for example. And, and that's maybe the good place to show the chipmunk FN. So what what is a four and four? So this is uh, so the double of the frequency, the reference frequency, but with four and connection correction. Now if I do it without, you hear that very funny chipmunk effect. So that's the four and. So having a four and gives you a much more natural transposition, typically for voice. Formant may not be useful for every kind of sound, but typically for voice, that's dramatically uh, use, useful. Um, other things you have is, uh, you have these two, two noise and transients. Uh, this is a amount of noise that is going to be used. So you, you can have a global setting saying the, uh, how loud you want the noise to be when there is some noise inside. So you can hear, hear the, 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 how it behaves. And there's another thing which may be useful w when there are some transients. So let's go in a place where uh, the, the, there is uh, some, some noise and we will use that noise to partial. So this will be used to lower the partial level when the noise go higher. Usually the noise typically on voice is more on consonant and tr on transient sounds. So, so that may be sometimes useful to lower the partial level when the noise level is, is getting up. So typically that's what you will get. So. Or. 
So it's not a huge difference that's fine tuning, but that, but that will make a difference uh, uh, when you will end up with the final result. Uh, so these are the first tests that you can do. Uh, that these are manual tests. There's a small test panel here of mean that the, nothing will happen uh, when you click this. It, it goes through manual, but but that may be useful if you want to avoid any external control because there are external control. Uh, typically, you can scrub or cycle from an MPE device. Typically, the MP device is expected to be uh, a continuum. So let's connect to the continuum, which is uh, just, 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 just here. Um, so it's here. So select it connected. Do you remember, recognize the, the, the blue LED that we typically have on the editor? But it's here. It's um, here on, on, on the lower since. Now, if I select scrub, so I'm going to select here MPE that will send a pure MPE controller sound preset to the continuum, so it will not make any more sounds. I click, you've seen it, it goes to uh, user program 00, meaning that it received something from uh, outside. You see the continuum received it, and, and then I have the panel saying that it did receive the MPE one voice control. So now I don't have any more sound from the continuum, but I have a scrub. So I can, by scrubbing, so moving my hand on the surface, on the x-axis, I, I can control the, 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 the analysis. Here still, the analysis is not played by uh, the, the continuum, it's played by the computer, so that's still the same playing as, as when I do it from here. Uh, so I need to go back to manual. So that, 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 that's the ex exact same, but now I do it by controlling it by MPE. So that's mainly for testing. And you have can have a cycle. The cycle will allow you to cycle in, inside that. But with a pitch shift. And if you, can, you want to play, you can. So that's even something you may be interested in using uh, here, we, we, and that, that's something you can do with any uh, MPE device. Uh, so so that, 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 that's a way to control the, the analysis uh, directly from uh, your continuum, but running it inside. That also means that there is a real-time uh, analysis player here inside. Meaning that at some point there may be a VST or something at a computer program doing it, so that, that that's a work in progress. Uh, that, that's the very beginning of it here that you can you can hear. Um, so that's what we have here. Uh, we are happy. The result looks okay. All, all the settings are fine to me. Let's say I, I like having a little bit of more noise. So I'm going to read it up. Um, so. The next step is going to save it and to send it to the matrix. Uh, so that, that's going to be the next uh, video. So see you in the next video.